माय गुडनेस लुक एट द साइज ऑफ दिस पात्रे हां इधर ले इसको 50 किलो है दिया देयर सम नल्ली मूले राइट देयर दैट हैज माय नेम ऑन इट वेरी फेमस इन नल्ली आदित्य हां आई लाइक द मैनर इन व्हिच दैट खैमा उंडे एल्ला सार कुर्दू मेले फ्लोट आगता है देखे हां वंडरफुल What I like about these guys is they are men of few words. They say we don't want to talk too much. Now just see here, lala. Our food will do the talking. That's all. Uh, that's all. Always believe. That's what has been for two years. And I'm the first outsider with a camera that they've allowed in. Uh, right. Yeah. You're the right. first. You. Thank you. I'm honored. Yeah. Most welcome. Chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Chicken mutton biryani. And the mutton biryani. And then the parotta. Ah, wonderful. Well, we have a table that's brimming with a few of the signature delicacies here at Hotel Aditya. To be honest, I quite don't know where to begin. Hi, folks. This is Kripal Amana, Gourmet on the Road, and you're watching Food Lovers TV. We are in Mahalakshmi Puram in West Bengaluru, and today I've come to eat. at an eatery that's only been around perhaps for over a decade but in that time has managed to carve out for itself a formidable niche amongst its patrons we are at hotel aditya where i have come to savor some delicious non veg uta let's go Hello sir welcome namaskara I'm Deepak nice meeting you So you are one of the partners behind yeah. Hotel Aditya Yeah we are three partners one okay. Mr Vijay Kumar one Mr Ravi and me Deepak Wonderful how old is Hotel Aditya uh, It's 12 years old we started in 2012 basically we started on the ground floor during covid we put this up we i mean there's a huge demand for the for an ac restaurant from our customers uh, so we shifted here so even that runs that's a non ac this is an ac Well, we've covered all the popular, traditional, time-tested nati uta places in Bengaluru, and every time I'd put up an episode, people would ask me, yeah. "When <laughs> are you visiting Hotel Aditya?" And today, therefore, I've come to correct that perceived wrong on behalf of all the fans of Hotel Aditya. See, the point is, we are not on any social media. Uh, we have never advertised. No YouTuber. We have never allowed uh, any YouTuber to come in. We just believe in day in day out good quality and good service and cleanliness. Fantastic. That's what our motto is. Fantastic. And then even the food yeah. speaks for you. Basic food, say mudde, uh. biryanis, the day in day out eating uh, items. Uh. We see that our gravies they're not very rich, just the spices and other things. So it's good for stomach and people can eat every day. So even the background name, sir. See, basically I'm an engineer. Oh, okay. I'm into this uh, line. Okay. Uh. And uh, so we were into small veg restaurants. Uh. And 2012. me ravi my partner he is basically specializes in uh, all the cook and other things ah. me and my uncle vijay kumar so we three got together and uh, start it happened he is my son aditya ah okay i aditya just that uh, you. so you are the name behind the restaurant just that just we that. we didn't want to put any other name ah. so just that it happened wonderful yeah. i think when you also have your family name yeah. that's appended to the restaurant and there one consciousness is there that we have our name there and we have to make sure yeah. that whatever we do lives up uh, it's just that our quality speaks that's it quality speaks i can already yeah. smell some aroma yeah. please come in of some of the food yeah yeah barboda kitchen yeah, yeah please please come wonderful please. Uh, i can see some uh, kal soup salpa chali the best kal soup e time nalli uh is my partner ravi namaskara ravi sir namaste sir how are you ah chala idu sir Over. You, you brought us up Bengaluru, now, right? Hundred percent. And that is your team behind. That's the team. I've just entered, taken two steps inside, but it looks very clean, very organized. Huh? Is this the way it normally is? Yeah. This is the way uh, normally it is. Wonderful. And then you have to climb up under the counter. So, Eli, any special dessert dish, Nim? Do. ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಫುಡ್ ಕೈಮಾ 
ಕಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೈ ಮಟನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಮಟನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮಾರೇ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಒಂದ್ ಟೈಮ್ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಇದು ಕಡ್ಲೆಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಜೋಡಿಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಜಿಸ್ ಇದು ಮೀಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದ್ ಎರಡು ರೆಡಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಈ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ ದ ಕಿಚನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದ ಕಿಚನ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಏನು ಕುಕ್ ಸರ್ ಇದು ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಏನು ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಹಳ್ಳಿಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರೋದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮುದಿರೋದು ಮಗಡಿ ಅದು ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಬಂದು ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಯಿತು ಇದನ್ನ ಹೋಟ್ಲು ಹೋಟ್ಲ ಏನಂತ The Kaima Unde is ready and also all the plates are stacked with the Bale Ale waiting for their customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really rush, you know, 12.31, huh? Yeah. By 12.30, people start coming. Uh, you open by 12, by 12.30, people start coming in. Breakfast yeah. open, right? Yeah, we have Kali Dose, Tante Idli, Kali Soup. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Early morning, 6.30, 6.30, biryani is ready. Oh, biryani is ready. Yeah. Chicken, mutton, yeah. erats. Only, only chicken. So, if you're doing it, chicken biryani is a weekday. Yeah, Kali Dose, Tante Idli. Wonderful. Yeah. You'll get it. Main, main thing is Kali Soup. So, here is Kuri. Biryani sheep. Okay, biryani sheep. Kurma, Mathe, Fry, Egg, and Mela, all good, good. Good. Oh, what's your name? Sir, biryani is soft. Biryani is soft. Biryani is soft. Go to a soft black bun. Ah. We have lemon hat. We have lemon hat. Soft black bun. Almost like mud. All of the people are good. Are you going to buy a bite? No, we have to buy a bite. We have to buy a bite. ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಿಮ್ದು ಫುಡ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ನೋ ಇನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀನ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ and of course they are understandably popular but for a place to be open for just 13 years and built for itself a formidable following that is on the same level as some of these time tested places is quite unique uh, so other goskara so i am here because of all the fans of hotel aditya who told me that i should cover this place and thank yes. you very much for because of them we are here because of our regular customers we are here ah So thank you very much for opening the doors of your establishment most to me. Most welcome sir. Most welcome. Thank you. ಇದು ಕಬಾಬ್ ಇದು ಲಾಲಿಪಾಪ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಎನಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏನು ಪೌಡರ್ ತಂದು ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಕಬಾಬ್ಗೆ ಮಸಾಲೆ ರುಬ್ಬಿ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದು ಅದು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಗಿ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಕಲರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಗಿ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ರುಬ್ಬಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿವಿ ಬಹಳ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ನಾವೇ ತರಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ರಾಗಿ ರಾಗಿ ತರಿಸಿ ಮಿಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಸಿ ನಾವು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಮಾಲ್ ಪಾತ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿರೋದೇನಿಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ದ ಮಾಡ್ದ ಹಂಗೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಮಸಾಲೆ because the rice is still uncooked but after a while muttala matte illa sir illa illa rice thund agutte i can see some of the fat from the meat adu flavor andre fat beke bekala adge kuri nu prefer maadthara kuri ali sulpa fat jaasti irutte the goat is leaner in terms of the meat but the kuri or the sheep has a bit of fat that's marbled through the meat and that makes for a good biryani ಇದು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಕರಿತೀರಾ ಪುಲಾವ್ ಕರಿತೀರಾ ಈ ಕಾರಣ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ನೋಡಿ ಸರ್ ಇದು ನಾವು ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ನಾವೇ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇದು ಗರಂ ಮಸಾಲ ಇಂಗ್ರೀಡಿಯೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನಿದೆ ಗರಂ ಮಸಾಲ ಇಂಗ್ರೀಡಿಯೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವು ಐಟಮ್
Soap is also soap. Soap is also soap. There are 14 items. Did you give me a nut? Yes, he is my one more partner Vijay Kumar. Namaskar. Namaskar. I am doing well. How are you? Very good videos. Thank you very much sir. Thank you very much. So you are the three pillars of Hotel Aditya. Yes. Wonderful. But I really love the aroma of this masala. So the base for this is the coriander and the jirige. And then there are a bunch of 12 other ingredients that go into it. Things like the fennel, perhaps some nutmeg and a few other ingredients that we will not really get into. But suffice to say, this is a masala that's extremely aromatic. Wonderful. So you do end nali over there. Beginning nali? Ginger garlic, all the ginger garlic. Yeah, that's the usual. But then ghee. Last time we put the ghee on the top. Initially we would have put ghee and oil mixed together. So now there's some nandini tuppa that's going in. So this is half a litre, right? This is half a litre. We will close it, then we will half a litre. So this is 2 kilos of biryani. 16 kilos of meat. 16 kilos of meat? 20 kilos of rice. Wonderful. And the ghee also helps in addition to the aroma and the flavour. It also helps in ensuring that the rice grains don't stick to one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't clump together. So there's some ghee that's going in now and some more ghee at the some end. Some more ghee and, uh, yeah. and then when we uh, remove the thumb. Remove the, remove the thumb. Ah, yeah. wonderful. Well, that certainly is a biryani that I want to get to know a little better. The biryani here at Hotel Aditya. My goodness, look at the size of this patre. Ah, it's a little bit of a kilo. It's a little bit of a kilo. So, Adu, sheep, Idu, goat. Idu, goat. Idu, Nindu, Padartha, Gallu. Mane, Idu, Tara, Kansta, Idu. Yes, now, Yalla, Mane, Idu, Tara. Now, Yalla, Mane, Idu, Tara. Now, Daily, Pedagi, Kobri, Yalla, Aki, Kudu, Masala, Mane, Idu, Mathe, Asimen, Sikha, Yalla, Aki, Mane, Idu, Mane, But now, Direct Asimen, Sikha, Aki, Chil, Bandi, Idu, Udu, Adana, Oil, Mane, Amele, Aki, Udu, Idu, 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 Mane, Masala, Chekke, so, one cut in the jar, the heat is burning. The color is burning. There is a Nalli Mule right there that has my name on it. Very famous in Nalli, Aditya. Wonderful. Unfortunately, we don't get much stock of Nalli. It usually gets exhausted. So, one of Ravi's main motos is to get Nalli. Yeah, yeah, Nalli. Huge demand for Nalli. Customers call us up and we keep the Nalli for them. They pay online, we keep the Nalli for them. Wonderful. Because it gets exhausted very soon. Sandre, Nalli is pre-booked. Here is our kidney. How do you do that? I can also spot some kidney in there. That kidney fat is a sort of fat that will melt in your mouth. Bende tara. Bende karakte, atara karakte. I like the manner in which that thaima unde. Ella saar kurdu, mele float akta hai dekhe. Wonderful. You know that the biryani is ready for them when the rice grains, having drunk up all that masala, have swelled and are now finding their way to the top. So there's some dried fenugreek that's going in. Tukpa. Well, the dried fenugreek, the kasuri methi has gone in and also rivers of ghee and just a little bit of water on top to ensure that it doesn't stick on the top, yeah. uh, that it doesn't cake on the top and it will be sealed now with a bale ele, with a banana leaf. Wonderful. This is a big deal. Yes, Normally when I see most biryanis, they they reduce the they remove the heat from the bottom and they introduce the heat on the top. But out here at Hotel Aditya, they have increased the heat at the bottom such that the flame now encircles the entire pathre and on top they have placed this heavy stone, the kadiva kallu. And now as the steam rises from within that biryani to the top, it's trapped there and it will help cook and seal all the aromas of the biryani. So out here with the mutton, sambar, with the khaima curry, chops gravy, chops gravy, you can have the mutte of course, kushka irbodo, and then you also have some parota. Yeah. Chapati good idea. Yeah, chapati is also. Ah, wonderful. So whatever you are comfortable eating in terms of the staple, you'll have it here.
So Andre, those are your bulk cooking items. So your curries are made there, biryanis are made there. And then fry madhwaga, illi bandhu, masale otte ge, onion otte ge, tomato otte ge, kothmiri otte ge, toss madhi, customer ego ge. Say kai ma dry we have, brain dry, liver dry, boti dry, head mutton dry, chicken dry, mutton dry, all dry items we have. Plus the saru item and the fry item. Ardha item milli. Ardha item milli. Somebody wants samar we have that, somebody wants a fry we have that, somebody wants a dry we have that. So in your green masala, there's also coriander. Oh, coriander, palak. palak. I can smell the freshness of that coriander mint. Now, what I like about these guys is they are men of few words. They say we don't want to talk too much. Now just see here, lala. Our food will do the talking. That's how we are. That's how we always believe. That's what's happening for 12 years. That's what's happening for 12 years. <laughs> and I'm the first outsider with a camera that they've allowed in. Right. Uh, yeah, you're the right. first YouTuber. Thank you, I'm honored. Yeah. Most welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is egg mutton. Egg mutton. Kale mamsa. Suryatange. Wonderful. Idu idu puri or goat? This is puri. Idu puri. So biryani under any full carcass to kulti ra? Oh, that's it. So under spare part ella puri idu. No, it's not goat. Goat meat is good for health. Ah, eight percent. So goat I think also digests faster oh, okay. and I think also goat has a bit of a bite and then you curry in the kinwaga and you can eat 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 the so you reward it with the flavor whereas the sheep almost melts sometimes kello pieces melt correct Especially the front, oh, shoulder, and the hind and the legs are tough. Hai. Hai. So, you use male or female? Sheep male. Male. male use. Male. Male. There is a logic for it. The male is actually the lazier amongst the sheep. The female, because she has to also feed her little ones, she spends more effort for aging, etc. So, therefore, the meat is a little tougher. The connective tissues have developed a lot more whereas the male is sitting fat and lazy and therefore his meat is nice and juicy and therefore most of these traditional eateries prefer the male sheep one of our main uh, boys here apart from the kitchen staff so they are the ones who coordinate yeah they are the ones who coordinate give the items they are the supporting pillars <laughs> correct and the euro is in the euro in some other way, yeah, yeah, in the supply of the leather and I'm gonna see color la out at the neck and of course the takeaways, the zomatos, figures, everything there, these people handle wonderful, wonderful, so early age to so much time in the dinner now opening in the opening in the ah, wonderful, wonderful, I think at the end of the day it's a team that makes yeah, the yeah, it's all our trusted boys ah the body, the chanage clean ala madbe ka gata la ato mante suna ke ala wan Salt and lime, hot water only. Rest of the time clean मारते रहे तो four times four times clean मार देगा। Because the boti also there is normally a bit of grit if you don't clean it well. That's a mutton biryani. That is now emerged from dam. Again, plenty of the kasuri methi that you see on top. You know, it's almost calm before he dips the ladle in. And that's when you see yeah. all the aromas of that biryani escape. It's only color, it's all about brightish. I think it's only fat in the solva mellow. So when we looked at the chicken biryani, that has a similar masala. The color in that is the color in that is a little deeper because the chicken does not have the benefit of the fat that's marbled through the meat and that tones down that greenish color of that biryani a bit. Allah, wonderful. That biryani is moist and steaming away, almost beckoning to me go to the restaurant and taste me. On AC in here. Ah, nice. On AC. Okay. Wonderful. But even this is very spread out. Yeah, yeah. So started here. Then Wonderful. that happened in uh, during COVID. Ah. You put an AC being there. So that must have been a leap of faith. COVID nearly everything was down and you everything decided to... Yeah, it was the play. Actually, the 
uh, things were going on, we just speeded it up. So on weekends, how do you handle the crowd, sir? You have a system and of people waiting, or see, both. I mean, upstairs and here, we have a person who writes ah. down there. We don't allow anybody to ah. come and check. So that it's not like you are eating and people are no, standing. No, 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 that was the system right. earlier. That's why people never, the girls and the ladies never used to come here. No, we have changed both the system. Here one person will write, there also one person ah, will write. Ah, wonderful. Only the provider, we... Wonderful. So even if it's crowded, there is a system, there is we a process minutes, in place. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you need to wait. Yeah, now they come back and done. Wonderful. This is also one more counter what we have here. Ah. Apart from that. You know, I really like the cleanliness and the fact that your kitchens are not chaotic. There are windows, there are exhaust systems, yeah, yeah. high there. ceiling. Yeah. So, Illy Kuda Biryani is not there. Wonderful. Biryani is not there, kebab is not there. Lollipop. It's popular in Illy. Chicken Biryani is not there. Brain fry good hai there. Brain fry madhe parota will be a super combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Super. I think on that note, mele hogi solpa batting maada na hai Namaskara sir. Kal soup, nali fry try maada na. Mathe brain. Brain dried mana na. Kebab undo lollipop mathe plain mix. Mathe biryani. Eret kuda. Chicken biryani, mutton biryani. Ado brain uti ge porota pori. Ado suru nange ado kalsu. Well, we've just ordered for some of the dishes that we've seen here in the kitchen. You know the challenge when you go into the kitchen is you see this, you see that and you want to order one of everything but of course that's humanly not possible but then it also gives you a fairly good idea of what you should order now and also perhaps save for the next time. The food that I saw in the kitchen is quite rustic, quite local or naughty as we like to call it and I'm sure the flavours too will register accordingly but what's really nice is the ambience of the restaurant. I don't think there's any other restaurant where you can go and enjoy rustic flavors but in a setting that is almost akin to fine dining. So of course I'm sitting here on the first floor which is the air conditioned section but there's also a section downstairs which is non-air conditioned but even that is quite spick and span and quite neat in the manner that they've organized it. So I think if you're looking to taste some Nati Uta and in an environment where you can bring your family and also perhaps have a small celebration like a birthday. I think this place certainly seems to fit the bill and I guess that's also the reason why in a short span of 11 or 12 years, this eatery has achieved iconic recognition and popularity amongst its die-hard patrons. Ah, Kal Soup. Kal Soup. Fantastic. Well, the weather is a bit cold. I was having a case of the sniffles early in the morning, so I thought we should begin here with the Kal Soup. I asked them for a single trotter, but I've got two, so I'll probably park one aside. I want to make sure that I let that trotter rest a bit more in that soup. Mm. I love the flavor of the coriander, a bit of the pepper. steaming hot. In this tatte, I didn't realize how hot it was, but in that, it is steaming hot, almost scalding hot. I think that's where a spoon will come handy. I'm told in the morning, they also serve some dosa with it, some set dosa, I think, or khali dosa. And that will make for a superb accompaniment to this kal soup. I can almost visualize that dosa soaking in that kal soup, absorbing all its flavors, its peppery coriander flavor. That's delicious. Ah. Well, there's also a wedge of lime. If you want to perhaps cut a bit of the spice and add in an element of tang. And because this kal soup is piping hot, I think it also makes sense to pour it onto that trotter every once in a while, thereby increasing its temperature. Oh, that's so good. 
That's the texture of tuppa. They asked me if I want to taste the trotter. I was like, I'd rather taste only the soup because I know there's going to be plenty of meat coming in after that. But they said, no, normally we like to serve it with the trotter. Please shoot it, don't eat it. But I said, well, if you place it in front of me, I'm not going to spare it. And having tasted it, I definitely feel that if you come here, whether for breakfast or for lunch, I think it's nice to make a beginning with this kal soup and perhaps a single trotter. Chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. And the mutton biryani. And then the parota. Ah, wonderful. Well, we have a table that's brimming with a few of the signature delicacies here at Hotel Aditya. To be honest, I quite don't know where to begin, but let's give it a shot nonetheless. So, of course, we have uh, a couple of kebabs. This is the chicken kebab. There's also the lollipop, which I'm told is a very popular site and also going by the number of kebabs that we saw getting ready to be fried. And then we also have that chicken masala. So what's interesting out here is that the chicken is done in a greenish sort of a masala. It's a masala that's driven more by the coriander, the palak and the greens. Whereas the mutton is driven more by the spices and also by the red chilies. There's no red chili that goes into the chicken, only the green chilies. And that's why all the chicken dishes out here are greenish in color and the mutton is stained an orangish brown. And speaking of the mutton, we have the khaima saru here. We also have another popular dish here, which is the nalli fry. Staying with the mutton, we also have the boti goju. And when I heard they also do a brain, I ordered for the brain pepper dry, which I thought would go fabulously well with that parotta, with that salon parotta. And if you come to Hotel Aditya, well, don't even think of leaving without tasting their biryanis. And I've ordered for two of them, the mutton here and also the chicken. And if the meat's hidden, well, don't worry. A quick way to differentiate the mutton from the chicken biryani is the color of the sherwa. That's the mutton sherwa, which is brownish in its hue. And the chicken is green. I think the first thing that I want to taste is that bheja. That's the color of the pepper. But there's plenty of the curry leaf and also the whole garlic cloves that this brain is tossed in. That is soft. Almost like a mousse. Mm, delicious. There's a heat from the pepper. I can also taste the flavor of the curry leaf, of course, and also a bit of the citrusy zing of some lime. Some lime juice that's probably gone into that. I think this parotta would make for a great way to scoop that spicy, slightly tangy flavors of that pepper fry. Mm, that's so good. The parotta, of course, helps tone down some of the heat that you taste in that pepper. What I also like about the flavors here is that they're very clean. I think there's a lot of effort that goes in, not just to procure the meat, but to also process it in a clean, proper fashion. Mm. And when you're tasting things like spare part, be it the brain or the boti goju or let's say the tale mamsa or something else, I think that's very important. If you love your brain, well not your brain, that goat or sheep's brain, certainly something that you should taste when here at Hotel Aditya. Mm. What's nice is that the decadent fatty lushness of that brain is balanced rather well with the slivers of whole garlic and also plenty of pepper and curry leaf that you find in that dish. I want to go for this brain just by itself. Mm. So good. Well, we have some kebab here. The kebab is crisp, quite crunchy in its texture. Mm. A bit of the cornstarch that goes in to give it that very crisp fried chicken texture. On the inside, it's moist, cooked rather well. 
Of course, once you've tasted the brain pepper dry, this feels a bit sedate, a bit calm in its flavors. There's also a lollipop. This, of course, is made with a chicken wings that's folded into a lollipop. Mm. You can taste a bit of the ginger garlic paste, a bit of that chaat masala spicing that probably is sprinkled on top of that lollipop. Mm. The lollipop definitely has more of the spices that are tucked into its folds and therefore you're tasting more of its flavors and also the flavor of the chaat masala. That's quite overwhelming. We want to find our way next to that chicken fry. So in all these places, they make a chicken curry and that chicken is then tossed with some spices, with some pepper, with some chilies, curry leaf, etc. to make for either a masala or a dry. Well, if you ask for the dry, like the brain pepper dry that we just tasted, there's very little gravy or gushy. But in the case of the chicken masala, there's plenty of the gushy that's holding on to the bird. Mm. I'm tasting the freshness of the coriander in the flavor of the chicken. The chicken is moist. Moist and juicy hail tarala. That is exactly what this chicken is. In its texture. I thought I will taste this very quickly and move to the mutton. Can I get the chicken in the... Warm the chicken and chicken fry, kebab, the lollipops are very popular. Then you the busy chapati sikho Yeah, I'll get it. I'm a little biased, always towards mutton, but I'm so happy every once in a while to discover chicken dishes that are equally flavorful when compared to their mutton counterparts. Well, I asked him for some busy, busy chapati as I find my way to the other dishes here. I think next we should go perhaps for some of that boti goju that again is a popular dish here. In fact, it was tough to decide as to which dishes to order because I've received many recommendations from our viewers. And even as I came here and I spoke with the people behind this eatery, they spoke of a bunch of dishes. So from all of that, I've distilled it down to about seven or eight dishes that I would like to taste. But I'm sure when you come here and if you come here repeatedly, I'm sure you'll also taste many more. So this is a boti which is basically the tripe, the intestine, the stomach. Mm. What's interesting here is that they've used the lime rather effectively. Sometimes the boti can be a little strong, can be a little off-putting, a little gamey in its flavor notes. But out here, you're not tasting any of that. That boti is soft, yields to the bare minimum of bite. There's also things like the onions that go into it. Super is there. In the boti guda super is there. Ma famous boti. What the boti guda soft is there. Rubbery illa. I mean, madam dadhi wala. Adhe adhe madam dadhi boti karo. Super is there. That boti is soft. Soft has soaked up all that masala. And what's also nice is the mix of the tomatoes, the onion that it's been cooked along with. But the onion is also crunchy there, no kuda. And that chapati is nice and soft. Makes for the perfect accompaniment to that boti goju. I think next we should go for some of that khaima. I asked them for some hot bisi bisi saru and that's the reason why my khaima unde is steaming away. The joy of touching hot food is something else altogether. That khaiwa unde is hot. The unde is certainly firm in its texture. Mm. What's nice here is that the meat hasn't been ground to a fine paste. You can still decipher the texture of the mince. So although they've used a kadle hitu in this to bind it, you can barely register it on your palate. You're really tasting the flavor and the texture of the mince. The curry is quite gentle in its flavors. Super is it? Sunday 
ಎಷ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಕುಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಕಾಲ್ ಸೂಪ್ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಕೊಡೋದು ರಾತ್ರಿ ಅರ್ಧ ಬೇಯಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಪಾಯ ಈ ಸೂಪ್ ಇಂದ ಸೂ ರಾತ್ರಿನೇ ದೆನ್ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಸೋದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೋಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಸೋ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಾಡಿದ ಸೂಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ 3 ಅವರ್ಸ್ 3 ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಸಿ ಇದೆ ಬಿಸಿ ಇದೆ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ರವಿ ಸೇದ್ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಐ ಸೈಡ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಫಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕುಕ್ ಟು ಸಚ್ ಜ್ಯೂಸಿ ಟೆಂಡರ್ನೆಸ್ ಓ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಬಾಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿದೆ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಅದು ಕರಿ ಲೀಫ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಟಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಇದು ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಸಾರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಎತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಫ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಫ್ರೈ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಕರಿ ಲೀಫ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪೆಪ್ಪರ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಜೀರಿಗೆ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಡಿಲಿಷಿಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮಸಾಲ ಓ ದಟ್ ಗೊಜ್ಜು ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ to be scooped into folds of that very soft chapati mm. the parotta if you have it as soon as it's prepared it's nice and soft but the chapati that they make here is such that from the first bite to the last bite it still retains its softness so between the parotta and the chapati as an accompaniment to the dishes here my vote goes to the chapati and it's also made of wheat so also healthy for somebody like me if you are a young person and doesn't mind the maida well definitely enjoy the parotta too mm. all of the crunch of the onions the tomatoes the freshness of the coriander idhe me cooking ya dish made do na matte hoyda ra munche inda is interested in cooking and he tries various dishes we keep on going when you look at ravi he is always smiling yoga se itara ve irtara he is always like ha <laughs> even his dishes are the sort that encourage a happy disposition uh, and i think that reflects in the preparations that i'm tasting these are the sort of preparations that will put you in a happy sort of a mood well this nali is also cracked open for me to have a stab at the marrow within mm that satisfaction that you get nimge bayinalli adu marrow sikidre alla normally when i go to a place and as i taste the dishes there are one or two dishes that emerge on the top but out here i'm having a tough time trying to figure out which dish is number one for me because every dish that i've tasted thus far is unique in its preparation style the meat is cooked to perfection we eat that texture that springy texture that kaima unde or that very mousse like patia like consistency of that brain pepper dry or that soft juicy tenderness of that chicken masala that boti in its soft texture took spare parts to a whole new level Well, we've got both the biryanis. I don't believe in discrimination. So, if a place makes a chicken biryani or a mutton biryani, well, order both of them. But always begin with a chicken biryani because once you taste the mutton, then it becomes very difficult for the chicken to stand up against the flavors that you would have tasted in that. What's interesting here is the color that you see of that jeera sambar rice. The chicken biryani rice is stained a little greener, not because the masala is different. The masala is the same. what goes into the mutton also goes into the chicken but in the case of that mutton biryani that fat helps tone down some of the vibrant green hues of the rice without further ado let's get to the biryani there's some uh, cinnamon that i see right there this is what goes to flavor the oil along with plenty of cardamom too that i saw floating in that biryani masala before the rice was introduced to it get a piece of the chicken that biryani is steaming away i can still smell the aroma of that kasuri methi 
Mm. When you place biryani rice in your mouth, and if you feel that it's got all the flavor that it needs to convey to you, well, that's a biryani. That's done its job. That rice is extremely flavorful. Mm. There's a herbaceousness. That you're tasting, of course, of the mint and the coriander, and I think the aromatic spices that go into it also impart to that rice a bit of sweetness. There's a bit of a faint sweet lilt that you detect at the very end on your palate, and then the warmth that comes from the hard spices like the cinnamon. What's nice is that the rice is moist, yet every grain. Is separate, and I think that tuppa that goes in soon after the rice is introduced, and also before that barley ale is placed on that biryani, before that biryani settles down for dum, I think that tuppa also helps ensure that every grain of the rice that you taste in it is separate, yet rather fulsome in its flavors. And now, as you get comfortable with the flavors of the biryani, you're now registering a bit of the heat. You're registering a bit of that green chili. Heat that you can taste on the tip of your tongue, not too much, but just enough to remind you of its presence, of its role in that pot of biryani. Nodi, naanu nindo biryani nalli piece ke mutte la inusa. Nando test biryani nalli biryani rice nalli nimge full flavour sikbe ko. Ado rice thin waga, aadara ansbe ko nimge naan biryani thindu thene. Very in beda. That is a good biryani. This biryani is that. Anyway, now for some of that meat. When it comes to a biryani, when the rice is cooked in the absorption method, what usually happens is that the rice absorbs all the flavor of that chicken masala. And therefore, when you're tasting the meat, well, you got to do so in the company of the rice. The season regulars here must be having a lot of the kushka. Yeah, yeah. Hala, sherwa gude hai, but sherwa to nange need anslila. But let us taste some of it nonetheless. Hmm. That sherwa takes the flavors of that biryani in a different direction. The sherwa, the curry has the greens and all the masala, so obviously it overpowers the biryani rice. But if you are tasting some of the dries, I think just order a portion of the kushka. That's good enough. So kushka kudwa ka mutton kushka barat hai, chicken kushka. People do have preferences. Some people ask for mutton kushka and some people ask for chicken kushka. It depends on the availability. There's not too much noise that I hear in this restaurant. There's not too much commotion. The only people that I see in this restaurant are people who are sitting at the tables, comfortably tucking into the food. There's a sense of studied silence here because it tells you that people are enjoying their food. Some of the mutton biryani. Ah, there's plenty of the chekke, the cinnamon that you see in the biryani. There's a nice. Chop here that I've got. Okay, thank you, Ravi. Ah, this is tuppa piece. <laughs> he knows his meat. He knows his meat. But before the meat, bari rice. When I'm tasting the biryani rice, the mutton biryani rice, I can taste a bit of that salty savouriness that comes from the fat. When I'm tasting the biryani rice and the chicken, what I'm tasting more is the flavors that come from the green spices, a bit of the aromatic spices, etc., a bit of the hit of the cinnamon. But out here, when I'm tasting the mutton rice, all those flavors are there, but it's quite muted, quite rounded by the flavor of the meat and the fat. Hala, fat nali solpa slight saltiness hota hai. Hala, and that is what you're tasting. The chicken nali nimge end nali solpa kara gura taste aagate of the green chilli. Idh nali nimge solpa heat taste aagate of the pepper. Hmm. Now was about that meat. Hmm. The meat is pink. Has a bit of a bite, but it's soft, and I guess that's the reason why out here they prefer the sheep meat when it comes to the making of the biryani. They want that meat to be soft. Mm. 
We have some of the rice and the meat. Mm. I love the rounded character of the flavors that I'm tasting in this mutton rice. And out here, in terms of the aromatic spices that go in, there are only few. Cinnamon, there's the cloves, there's the plenty of cardamom that goes in. And of course, they also have the proprietary masala that they make with the 14 ingredients. But the spicing is such that it doesn't really overpower your palate. I was reading many requests from our regulars who said that they come here almost twice or thrice a week. And having tasted the food, I can relate to that. The flavors out here are the sort that are light, that are clean, that are homely. I think this is also the sort of biryani that you could easily have twice in a week, if not more. There is a tuppa, there is of course the fat of the meat, but all that is balanced rather deftly with the other spices and ingredients that go into the making of the pulao. And I think because the base of that pulao or that biryani is the spinach, the mint and the coriander, that also adds a certain refreshing lightness to the flavors that you taste here. The rice is moist in both cases. There's a bit of the stickiness that comes from the tuppa, that comes from the fat, which is also what you taste in its savory, slightly salty edge. When it comes to the mutton biryani, the rice in the mutton biryani. To be honest, I'm quite happy relishing the biryani rice just by itself. But because there's a sherwa here, why not? To me, the gravies overpower the biryani a bit. Because I'm a biryani purist. When I taste a biryani, I want to taste only the flavors of the biryani. I don't want too much by way of distraction, be it in the sherwa or perhaps the mosuru bhaji or the yogurt it's served with. I want to taste only the flavors of the rice and the meat that's contained in that plate of biryani. I think even as I leave this restaurant, I want the parting flavor note to be that of that rice in that mutton biryani. Super. You know, I'm so glad that many of you Aditya Hotel regulars implored me to come here because having spent time the last couple of hours with the people behind the eatery, looking at the food and what goes into the making of it, and finally tasting, I think, seven, eight or nine dishes on the table here, I finally now have a sense of what you love about Hotel Aditya. I think there's a lot of care that goes into every aspect of the experience here. From the sourcing of the right meat, be it the goat or the sheep, to the making of the masalas and the crew that they have in the kitchen who are cooking these dishes diligently day in and day out. And also the manner in which they serve you in an ambiance that makes you relax a bit. You know, there's plenty of delicious nati uta to be had in Bengaluru. But I think there are very few places that offer you a comfortable dining experience like this. So if you love your Nati Uta, if you love those robust rustic flavors, but want to savor it in an ambiance that allows you to enjoy it with your friends and family, definitely find your way to Hotel Aditya here in Mahalakshmi Puram. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Gourmet on the Road. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating mm. so basically all the dishes that I've tasted and I've got as much as I can read here the boti fry the brain dry the chicken fry the kebab the biryanis they've not added the kal soup all for a sum of under 1200 rupees well there's also an additional 300 for the nali they haven't put it on the bill yet but you know the way it works with us. You have a good team here. Yeah. Huh? Teamwork. Yeah. Huh? That's what Hotel Aditya is about. Fantastic. Thank you. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. 
You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!